Week on News Center Maine at 6. We're going to be bringing you all the latest information on ticks and the diseases they carry. Right now, as we humans are enjoying boating, barbecues, and the great outdoors, the latest crop of deer ticks is reaching full maturity. and They are out for blood. There was an explosion in Maine's dog tick population this past spring, and while those numbers are dropping, it appears that black-legged ticks, the ones that carry Lyme disease and other infections, are more active. The Maine Center for Disease Control says so far this year, there have been 264 cases of Lyme. Late last month, the first case of Powassan virus was reported. That virus, spread by an infected deer tick, is considered rare in the United States and is only the ninth case in Maine since 2010. Experts say something simple you can do every day is the best line of defense to protect your family and your pets. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee is here to tell us more. Hi, Viv. Hi, Pat. Once a tick crawls onto your body, it may take hours before it attaches and you may not even know that it's there. That's why it's so important to check every nook and cranny after spending any time outdoors. A daily routine is becoming a way of life for many Mainers. For Josh and Adrian Bollier, it's key steps they never skip. We make sure that that's something that we do routinely every time we go outside. A routine that began as soon as their daughters could walk on their own. Maddie, now three, and her two-year-old sister, Ellie, always wear long sleeves and tuck their pants into their socks. Want to help me tuck in my pants? Then boots are sprayed with repellent with DEET, all to guard against deer ticks that carry Lyme disease and other infections. Watch your head. The family loves to hike the woods behind their home, but even on hot days, they are vigilant. We try not to let them wear shorts out, even when it's warm, um, just to keep their, their skin not exposed to getting ticks on them. Check your legs. Then a thorough tick Is check before the family goes back inside. They check the girl's hair, scalp, and other parts of their bodies. Tick checks take place at bedtime as well. Two years ago, the couple found a tick on Maddie late at night, but she didn't have any symptoms of Lyme afterwards. It was embedded in the back of her um, scalp under her hair, so now we're really, really diligent about getting in there and checking. I'm getting a lot of calls from my patients about tick bites. Dr. Sean McCloy treats patients for Lyme disease and other tick-borne infections at Integrative Health Center of Maine. Ticks are now at the peak of the nymph stage before becoming adults. Appearing as tiny black dots, nymphs can be difficult to detect on your body, increasing the risk of spreading Lyme and other tick-borne illness and making regular tick checks so critical. When you brush your teeth at night, check every square inch of your body and you're looking for something the size of a poppy seed. Dr. McCoy says Lyme may cause a bullseye rash, fever, headache, fatigue, and could spread to the heart, joints, and nervous system if left untreated. He says if caught in the early stages, though, Lyme disease can be treated successfully with antibiotics, but a number of patients may not have any symptoms. After a tick bite that's known to be a, a black-legged deer tick bite, is I will treat them prophylactically with 20 days of antibiotics per the current evidence-based guidelines, regardless of whether they have a rash or not. Besides protective clothing and tick checks, the CDC recommends using EPA-approved repellents on skin. Promethrin, a repellent that is considered very effective against ticks, should only be applied to clothing and dried first. As for the bowliers, even though their girls are just toddlers, they know what ticks look like and often warn their parents first. They usually scream, there's a tick, there's a tick. An awareness this family hopes will reduce the risk for tick-borne illness in the future. Now, ticks can ride along with your pets, of course, and make sure you check them before they come indoors. And veterinarians also re recommend using a tick preventative on your furry friends. And coming up tomorrow on day two of Tick Week, we'll tag along with researchers at the University of Maine Tick Lab in Orono that's providing very key and important information to Mainers following a tick bite. That's all coming up tomorrow. I'm News Center Maine's Vivian Lee reporting live from South Portland.